I mean, your podcast is so stupid. I hate it. At night. I hate it. Sunil Patel. I hate you. Huge Davies. And I hate you. You are now entering Slam Country. Does it take ages to get through the gates for Glastonbury? It actually took very little time because I came on the Friday. The people searching about us for drugs... I mean, what is the point of even employing those guys? They literally poke the back of the top of my bag. Mm. They poke like my full bag. They just poke the top of it. Looking for a key of coke. Yeah, Couldn't yeah. Find it. Yeah. What'd you get in? <laughs> I managed to get it. <laughs> I managed to get in. It was all what's it? <laughs> 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 They'd never know. They'd never know. Yeah. I did a corporate the other day, and um, I, f- I don't know if I told you on the record, but they gave me uh, three bags of Doritos. <laughs> awesome. For my rider. Yeah. Tangy cheese original and chili. Chili. Uh, best wave. flavor out of those? Well, chili heatwave. I'd say tangy cheese edges chili okay. heatwave for me. Well, I had to pick one because they said, right, um, because you're a surprise announcement, we don't want anyone to see you, so you've got to sta- sit backstage for an hour and a half. Right. So just pick one of your bags of Doritos and go and sit back there. <laughs> so I chose the um, cool original and sat backstage for an hour and a half. If you're really smart. You chose the worst one. I, I panicked. I just took it. It was a big grab bag. So I was like, sure. I'll, you know, I'll be fine. I didn't want to get the yellow one because I get yellow hands then. Is I? it good? Um, is <laughs> that would be confusing. Be if confusing. you came out. <laughs> come out with fucking cheesy hands. What is you should have done is you should have crushed, as a pro would do, you crush them all up and yeah. then you can, because of you, you've created like this less surface area, you can put them all three of them in one bag. That's a really good idea. But also in the room with my Doritos were the entire board of the company. So them watching me do that before I present their awards. Hoof down three giant bands of Doritos. <laughs> like did, you, Doritos did you at least make a lot of money out of it? I did. Good. All right. But, yeah. Found some good names in this book. Go on. For your child. Yeah, hundred. We, well, we just, just we recorded the last episode and then I've, we're talking about porridge and children and then I found a box of porridge and a bo- book of baby names. Here's one. Yeah. Starbuck. No. Yeah. No, no, no. One's American, up, an astronaut. Hang on, one Chloe Petz is calling me. Here we go. Thor Berta. <laughs> Thor Berta. Thor Berta. You're on the podcast, Chloe. Tell Chloe she's on the podcast. Hey, Chloe, you're on a podcast. I'm you're, sure on, you're on Slime Country. Shout well, out. Are you recording the podcast? Yeah. You're recording Slime Country. Yeah, welcome to Slime Country. Welcome on to Slime Country. Thank you. Am I on air? You're on air on Slime Country. Yeah, we're just reading out baby names from a book. Cuba. Baby names from a book. Star- Crystal. Starbuck. Starbuck. <laughs> Starbuck. Give me some highlights. Starbuck. <laughs> Corky. Yeah. Corky is the one that's a cart now. Corky. <laughs> Um, anyway, um, we're going. We're doing a gig, aren't we, mate? I'm getting. I'm on your train. I've, I've booked the train. See you later, mate. Bye-bye. Bye, mate. Bye, mate. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Um, shout out to all the people who are coming to Man and Clay Pets Whip tonight. It's nice and it's nicely sold. There's that's gonna. That's gonna be helped towards the baby. <laughs> there's, there's um uh there's at the bit at the start of this book there um there are just like some brief like highlights before you get into the actual dictionary of baby names. Hundred thousand baby names. Yeah. They've got um. They've got like sections. They've got lists of like top names for babies in different categories. Listen, interior decorators. Yeah. <laughs> what are they calling their babies? Um, Darnell, Zora, Imari, Yasmin, Kayan, Tanisha, Malik, Kiana, Danica, Jared, Dante, Angel, Zander, Sebastian, Charisma, and Robin. It just sounds like American names. Here we go. Names that command respect. Here we go. Edward. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Cleopatra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ed and Cleopatra, the famous the, the pairing. These two, these are brilliant. Um, this is great. Dorks. Dorks. Gabe, Bernice, Norm. Dorks sounds like a Thunderbird <laughs> character. Sorry, dorks are calling their kids Gabe, Bernice. Bernice. And uh, Pansy, Dilbert. Come on. Normal. Dilbert. Mil- Dilbert. Milhouse. Dilbert Wait, goes nicely with Dido. <laughs> <laughs> Milhouse, Hortense, and Urkel. Sorry, this is this is a list of dork names. Yeah. That's in that book. Urkel. <laughs> They've got Urkel you know, on the list of dork names. I was almost uh, <laughs> Why don't you call... If you think your kid's going to be a fucking loser, dork. why don't you call him Urkel? <laughs> Imagine if I had a son. Imagine if I called my son uncle. <laughs> that would be amazing. Imagine if, if I called my son. Now that's actually we talked. This is carry, okay. Got to carry on from the last episode. The absolute funniest thing I could call my son 
is the name of like one of the most famous black characters in history. <laughs> <laughs> that's the absolute like if I called my son Uncle or someone like that, someone that he's that he's solely associated Martin with, Luther. with like an American black. No, Martin Luther wouldn't work because there is a suit like is like an almost yeah. as famous white Martin Luther. Almost as famous as Martin Luther King. Yeah. It's the yeah, only fucking it's the only is the Barack. Yeah, exactly Barack's Barack, a good yeah. yeah. It's like good when you think of it, that right. person owns that name. Shaq. Yeah. <laughs> Shaq. <laughs> Shaquille Knight. Shaq. That'd be nice. I'm surprised you didn't Shaft. say it. <laughs> 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 it's my two sons. I call it Shaft. <laughs> the foot brackets of the film. <laughs> I'm calling my kids. Reboot 2017. Call them <laughs> Shaft. <laughs> Shaft Knight brackets 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey the Butler. <laughs> Jeffrey the Butler. <laughs> uncle, what's his? What's the uncle's name? Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. Phil. Uncle, this is my daughter, Uncle, uncle Phil. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs it my daughter, Uncle Phil? <laughs> Jesse, Jeff. I've got a baby name book as well. It's called the Pokédex. <laughs> oh, that would be brilliant to name my son Pikachu. Yeah. Um, so it takes uh, that. Be that's a great way to actually put off. Um, Put off having the conversation. Say, so, yeah, I want to have kids and I want to have them immediately, but only if we can call them Uncle Phil, Jazzy Jeff, or Colin Sharp. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> Jazzy <good> Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> not even, not just Jeff. Jazzy Jeff. Jazzy yeah. Jeff. Jazzy first you name, can't, Jeff middle name. You can't call your kid Jazzy Jeff because that's the name of my car and <laughs> you keep copying. Jazzy Honda Jeff. Jazzy Jeff, yeah. Honda Jazzy oh, Jeff. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Can't wait till you get a new jazz. Yeah, oh, me man. too. When me you get it, when you get it, is it'll it a be, new a new one or a? It'll like, be after after Red and Blue. Will it be a new new one or like an old new? It'll one? It'll be a new new one. You'll have a wow. screen and that touch screen. There's a yeah. It's a, I almost bought one with a screen the other day. Wow, it didn't happen. Screen game changer. Screen a game changer. You could, I think the cars the car was old and it was the first. I think it's the first time they put screens in cars because it's advertised. <laughs> In the car, as you can watch a film on the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think after the they go, isn't that legal? <laughs> yeah, he goes, so I think. But when they first put screens in, they were like, maybe that's a fun idea. But then as soon as that happened, they were like, maybe no, no films in the car. But like, I got in two Ubers in Birmingham the other day. Both of them Priuses replaced their screens with, with like film ones. Oh really? So they can watch anything on it, like completely hacked into it. Oh really? So just play around, watch. But how did watch you know YouTube. that? What were they watching? YouTube. They were watching YouTube. They had YouTube open for it, music. But it's going crazy oh. now. It's it's going crazy. Like we talked about, we just watched like a, on the way here. Me and me and Hugh bumped into each other, and we watched a ginormous car sail the wrong way down a one way street. <laughs> I, <laughs> I flagged it. I said, people, he, "You said through the window, this is a one way street," and he yeah. just looked at him and kept driving down. <laughs> yeah. there. Was, oh, was there an Uber driver? No, it's no, just, 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 just a guy. Can't, that's a man. We can't tell if it's an Uber driver as well, can you? Because they don't. It's they just have a, a little normal sticker car. in the back. Then. Oh, really? Yeah, a little green. No, but yeah, so they're, I think that sailing through. people are just so much less safe on the roads now, it seems like. It is weird. I mean, I drive, weird. I guess, a lot more than both of you. must be right? terrifying. I hate it. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah people yeah, are going yeah. crazy all the time. I don't understand it. After the, um, I, I remember, I watched, I watched the Euro final with my girlfriend and, and our friend Greg. In the car? Uh, in the car, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of us driving. None of us driving. No, we came out and um, it was like a scene from like from like a comic book movie or like a post-apocalyptic film where everything's going wrong cars were like speeding down the street we saw one car swerve off and just crash into a shop what where was this and Caledonian Road just smashed into the front of a shop <laughs> like the, it was changing a pocket like, like it's like it have seen from the, <laughs> after we lost the final it's just like fucking it throws <laughs> straight into a shop it was absolutely yeah. fucking crazy yeah. <laughs> it was bonkers yeah. yeah people just love football so much don't they they just get so passionate they would I love, drive I thought, love you lo- I thought you love football here I love no, football not enough to drive a, oh, right, a car yeah, into yeah. a shop yeah, I don't think it was on know. purpose I think they may have been intoxicated yeah but you don't know that I don't you don't know that Sunil's fantasy is to drive into a Sainsbury's yeah, isn't it? In a Volvo. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but like, then drive crash. around it. Yeah, he doesn't mm. want to crash through it. He wants to do his shopping from the Volvo. Hide <laughs> <Piling> through it. <laughs> I want to grab stuff out the window. Um, I think the future is going to be wide aisles and carts you can drive. I, um, actually, I like it's the end of Wally. You know, everyone's yeah. just in the chairs. Yeah. I'd love to be in a chair like that. I'd hate that. I'd just, hate that. Uh, <laughs> the happiest I've been recently is um, in the Yorkshire Dales. Me and Liv 
uh, my girlfriend went on a walk and um and but it was like we had to be back to by a certain point to do some work from home mm. but we read the map wrong and we ended up completely off the beaten track in the middle of a completely silent wuthering hill surrounded by sheep and cows like no path we'd lost the path and stuff and it was the most and no you, signal and it was like the happiest i've ever been not scared yeah not scared and at all mr tomless came out the woods didn't he there was no woods it was just completely flat or well, not flat but like it was just grassland all around hills and beautiful hills couldn't see like a town or anything around us maybe like in the far distance but it was just gorgeous it was so like yeah or this is awesome you know yeah I don't think I can go that. How long are we there for? Scared, that we were there for already. like we we sort of found out we we ended up going back the way we came, even though we yeah. walked for like an hour. Um, but we were just in that bit, sort of in that vibe for maybe like forty five minutes total, and it, but it was great. Like it was really awesome. Yeah. Like we sung sang marching songs to get us back there. What time of day? Huh? What time of day? Late in the day? Uh, no, this would be about two p.m. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, and it just after it, yeah. it had like sort of been windy and rainy on the way up, and then it was just pelting it down when we got to the top. Yeah. But then it's like cleared up, and the sun came out, so it was like wet and fresh and springy and, and a nice. bit muddy. It was, nice, it was actually, really yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. I don't think I could go that long without watching an Uncle Roger video. Forty-five <laughs> minutes. Are you kidding me? He's got a new noodle out. New noodle, crab noodle, crab noodle. Is this a, is this the spicy, spicy one? Spicy, spicy crab, crab noodle. Yeah, spicy I've seen crab it. Noodle. Yeah, yeah. Didn't we say we were going to order some in and eat them Did on we? the podcast? <laughs> it's about. It's about. Should we do that's Why have we not done that? Why have we not eaten the Uncle Roger Surely crab noodles? Four, we should hit him up for a free one because it's a forty-dollar shipping fee. Is it? Yeah, he's what? addressed it recently. Where's it from? Um, it's from the USA, but he ships it out internationally, and it's a forty. I think it's like a forty-dollar. Shipping fee for the for the noodles per packet or per order per packet. Well, per order. I mean, well, if you get like a lot of them, but we're getting a lot of them. Three. <laughs> we're, <getting> three. <laughs> <laughs> we're, re- we're going to become resellers. Yeah. <laughs> Vintage touts outside the venue. <laughs> touts. <laughs> noodle touts. Yeah, if you don't want to pay the ticket master fees, you can get Uncle Roger's noodles <laughs> from Slime Country Podcast. Imagine if we if, imagine if we announced merch and it was that. <laughs> It was Uncle Roger's. Oh, only, merch was Uncle Roger's noodles. Only, we've we've opened it a bit. only way this podcast can earn money is to sell Uncle Roger's merch. <laughs> Soiled merch from someone else. We <laughs> sell Uncle Roger merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> With Roger crossed out and Phil written in. <laughs> Un- Uncle Phil's spicy crab noodles. <laughs> Who wins in a fight, Uncle Roger or Uncle Phil? Uh, oh, Phil. Phil all day, Uncle I reckon. Phil, Phil absolutely. Phil. Listen, we Nigel, we love you. You, but Phil absolutely rocks your shit. All you got to do is whisper, whisper to Uncle Phil's ear. You say that was that's Will Smith's dad who abandoned him, and he'll go into a rage. No, you say that's Will Smith's um, that's Mil- Will Smith's ne'er do well friend who's a bad influence on him, and Carlton. <laughs> what does he do? What does Uncle Phil do in that? Lawyer. He's a judge, isn't he? he? Ju- oh, he a judge. He's a judge, yeah. A judge. And he's a working lawyer, isn't he? Well, you know, that's the. Um, the the rumor is well the theory is that um, <laughs> the you, theory yeah the uh, you know the, <laughs> the theory. Um, fan theory for the Fresh Prince yeah the fan theory for the Fresh Prince obviously if you've not heard this it's this, all a dream this is an old one no ah. this is an old one this right. is an old possibly one of the first ever fan theories head cannons that I ever heard is that um, you know the couple of guys that are up to no good yeah in um, in the neighborhood yeah and he gets in one little fight yeah right no one got scared but that. Before the monk, so the idea <laughs> so is in between sorry, those two yeah, lines. In hold between on those two lines. <laughs> <laughs> the idea is that um, Will actually died in that fight. It wasn't just them pushing around, but these boys they got in a fight and they beat him to death. Right, and then um, the mum sent the body to no oh, it's heaven. It's heaven. Oh, because Uncle Phil is like a judge, and they live in a place called Bel Air, which is like good good air heaven. Right, right. G- sold I'm sold wait look away so it gets better and he's um he's gone to heaven yeah Uncle that could F- get any better it feels like you're making this up Uncle Phil like- is God yeah Uncle Phil's God because he's like a judge but he's also like a large uh, so he's like a big presence with a big beard Jeffrey's Gabriel is he uh 
I don't know what Jeffrey is, but Archangel probably, Gabriel. probably Archangel jo- Gabriel. Jo- yeah. Peter. <laughs> DJ Jazzy Jeff is Satan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's, he's a bad influence. influence. He's Lucifer, and they keep yeah. like kicking him out of the house. What about Phil's wife? Uh, Phil's wife is, I don't know, like Mary Magdalene. God's wife. God's wife. Carlton's Jim. <laughs> She's God's wife. <laughs> Mrs. She's God's wife. She's Mrs. 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 God. Vivian. Mrs. Mrs. Claus, yeah. Mrs. Mrs. Claus. God. Yeah. Vivian. Yeah. And, his, and yeah. the reason that... Um, the reason and uh, um, uh, Will's mum <laughs> only comes on his birthday. Yeah, once we, she only turns up at the show on his birthday, and that's her visiting the grave. The grave yeah. yeah, once a year on on his birthday. Right. Will's dad, is, Lu- Will's yeah. dad is Lucifer. New spin on Lucifer. it. No, is no, he's... Jazzy Jeff is Lucifer. Okay, who's Will's dad then? He's not. He's just. He's it's not just, about. He's not yeah. about. Judas. Judas Does he Iscariot. ever turn up in the series? What? Judas Iscariot. <laughs> Judas Iscariot. <laughs> 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 he does, yeah. On the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. <laughs> <laughs> Judas Iscariot. <laughs> 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 Don't let him have a dinner at the house. Hey, Uncle Phil, we're having, we're having Judas Iscariot over for dinner. <laughs> Vivian walks in and goes, now, Phil, we're having Judas Iscariot over for dinner. Don't do anything embarrassing. <laughs> Try not to judge him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's important not to judge. <laughs> People make mistakes. <laughs> Viv, the man betrayed Jesus Christ. <laughs> Phil, not during dinner. <laughs> I was speaking to my good friend Pontius Pilate, my fellow judge, and he's sending over one of the lads. Uh, yeah, no, what happens is Phil's like, he betrayed Jesus Christ, Vivian, we can't have it for dinner. And he walks in and he goes, hey, you know, I'm actually good friends with Pontius Pilate. And Phil goes, lovely to meet you. It's really good to have you <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Here. It's what all about think? the connections. It's all about the connections it's in this biz. The connections. And the most famous judge of all time, the one that sent big man Christ to his grave. Yeah. No one can judge me. Did you know that? Apart from Godzilla. Yeah, Godzilla can judge me. Who can crush me? Um, Did you know that um, Adam had a wife before Eve? No. No. Who was that? Lilith. And what what happened? Divorced. He's divorced. From what? From Lilith? From Lilith, yeah. Yeah. His, her name's Lilith and she's like a demon or something was it like a kind of what was that what was the situation Did she, so I didn't even that's know that's Frasier's ex-wife's name <laughs> 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 this is a real did you know that did you know that <laughs> before before Eve uh, yeah. <laughs> before Eve Adam was married to someone called Auntie Helen <laughs> 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 who was cast out of Eden yeah <laughs> yeah Lilith is a really interesting uh, character I didn't know about this is I didn't know anything about this until I bought a, a collection of poetry by H D that was all that's all about Lilith. But she's in the Bible, right? No, I don't think she's actually in the Bible. But she's in the poem. If you write a poem about it, it's um, it's canon, you know. Lilith herself is not mentioned in any biblical text, but um but she, she appears did. in uh uh, a random dude's poem, like no, just in like sort of ver- various like uh, sort of um, apocrypha, I think, and not sh- in like Christianity. She appears in like Judaism, I think. We need Let to get see. hold of some of those mad old gospels that everyone says are wrong. What like um? What's the bad the, one? Well, the apocrypha, yeah, the ones that aren't canon, Thomas. proper. The, the what are they called the deuter, deuterocanonical stuff. I think we should have a go. I think we, we should, should have, have we should have a pop. Um, if they have a pop, we should have a pop. <laughs> yeah, in late yeah. antiquity, in Mandean and Jewish sources from 500 AD onward, Lilith appears in historiolas. If we get to incantations three, incorporating a short mythic story. If we get to 300 patrons, we'll write a new Bible. <laughs> She's mentioned in the Babylonian Talmud. <laughs> Um, and in the Zohar as a hot fiery female who first cohabited with man okay if we get to 400 but many we'll rabbinical, incorporate original sources into many, many rabbinic <laughs> authorities including Maimonides and Menachem Mary reject the existence of Lilith oh come on okay. why though um, I don't know but she's an interesting cat that's interesting yeah my um, I love doing this podcast because my, um, my my tabs are a mess at the best of times but but now it's uh, yeah, how to yeah, get yeah. how to get a peerage. Uncle Roger Noodles. <laughs> <laughs> so it was was Lilith like, real? <laughs> uh, I just I, I've opened up a random page onto Martin the baby Shkreli. book, and it says test nicknames. Can your child's name hold up a playground test? Are there ways the kids can turn the name into something awful that would cross your child's self esteem and possibly brand him or her for life? Remember, children can be cruel, especially yeah. siblings. Also, make sure your children won't have the same nicknames. That can happen if the names are too similar. If you use a feminine form, masculine name for a girl or masculine name. Can you imagine that? If you you call your children two similar names yeah, yeah. that they have the same nickname, you fucking idiot. Who <laughs> fucking do that? So oh, it's some, if, if you got like Ben. It's like, it's like Ned and Ed. <laughs> the same family. Like, yeah, that could be an issue. Ned Edward and Edward. Edward and Ed. What's Ed, Ned Ed short for? What? What's Ned short for? Um, Nedward. <laughs> 
Ned, Nedward. Ned Stark, Game of Thrones. Nedward. It is Nedward. <laughs> it is Nedward. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. You no, yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are up, similar names, though? What are similar up, names? We can look up Ned. Hang on. Let's just, just look up two names next to each other. Um, I'm going to look up Ned, um, um, just real quick. I'm, oh, there's Liv here. I'm on the... That's just Olivia, what, right? I'm, in the, I'm on the page for... Um, Uncle Roger's crab pasta. Yeah, how's, how's and it? And it is how's 40 quid PMB. Thirty dollars. We'll buy us a box of it. That'll be enough for each of us to try. One box. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, one box is all we want. Thirty bucks. Yeah, we can cook it. We, we can cook, cook it, it in here. Can't yeah. We just need a kettle. We should film. We should know. Do you know what we should do? What? We should go uh, like millets or blacks and buy a camping stove. <laughs> so cook it there. <laughs> cook it. Why, why don't we go to? Cook it in a why don't we go to Mountain Warehouse and cook it? In there? <laughs> 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 Sorry, can we go to Decathlon? Go to a big Decathlon. <laughs> Set up a tent. <laughs> Set up a tent in the middle of Decathlon. <laughs> Cook Uncle Roger's creamy chili crab. <laughs> I'm homeless. I'm, the bailiffs came round. I spent my last thirty. My last Uncle thirty crab quid noodles. on <laughs> Uncle Roger's chili crab bucatini. Sent to a PO box. Sh- I rented. Shipped, <laughs> shipped to the mountain warehouse in Covent Garden got, so that I could cook it there. It's got, ga- it's got Gaza vibe. Doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Ned, yeah. Um, form of yeah. Edward, meaning a wealthy. So we could call you, you could have been a Ned. Ned is pretty much the only thing I don't get called. My mum calls me Ted sometimes. Yeah. My. You don't want to be called Ned. My. No, Shout out, the rest of my family call me um, Eddie and Edward. And stuff. Do you want to look? Do you want me to look up your names and see what they what yeah. they mean? Mine's right. not in there, man. My Edward. Your means, name will be in there. Edward means princely or something like that. Probably fine. Mine means blue or something. Or your mountain. Mean, Yours will be in there. Mine will yeah. be in there for sure. Yours will be in there. Um, do you want Ed or Edward? Uh, both. Edward first, because I'm mainly Ed. I said mainly Ed. <laughs> Thanks, man. Sorry. Loads of coffee. Yeah, that's genius. That's genius. <laughs> that's absolutely funny. All right. <laughs> you found that very funny, didn't you? I oh, yeah, I did yeah. it the other day at that corporate. Yeah. Just coughed into the mic and moved on. Um, Ed, your name means a wealthy protector. Whoa! Oh wow. my goodness! I'm, I'm, I'm a poor cunt in the coward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've really broken the mould. Um, yeah, wealthy protector. All right, let's go. Ed or Edward? Edward. Uh, well, well, Ed is just a short of Edward. Both, yeah, 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 the meaning. Right. So um, we'll do. Yeah, we'll do me next. Why not? Because it's I, alphabetically, I guess. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. <laughs> Don't show off. <laughs> You've got to stop showing off, man. What's Hugh short for? Um, Hugh, but I imagine. Huge Mungus. Is huge it? Huge Mungus. Huge Mungus is my father. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's Huge Mungus is my father. Um, H U. You got oh, there's a name called Hud. You can just call someone <laughs> Hud. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is my son. Was it Hugh and Hud? Heads up display. <laughs> oh, Hud, a hooded man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a Scot- Scottish way of just saying hood, isn't it? Hood. <laughs> me, me in my alien costume. Uh, all right, H U G. Oh, is it not here? Fucking hell! No, Have I really on. skipped? Oh no, no. Oh dear, this is not good. What does it mean? Hugh German having a bright mind. Fuck. Oh, I think we're, uh, we're, all going, we're all working against the grain here. Aren't <laughs> <we>? <laughs> Ubermensch, Ubermensch, Ubermensch. Ubermensch. All right. So no, you're no, very. No, you're very. Um, you got a masters. You're very smart guy. No, they're giving the, Ab- Aberdeen, they're giving things out. Like, nah, it's like a lottery ticket. Got a Masters on UNESCO. UNESCO? Uh, no. UNESCO World Heritage. Sites. I mean, it goes to show I can barely remember. <laughs> All right. Aberdeen's Su- a UNESCO help. Su- there it is. Oh, uh, oh, Indian. <clears throat> a deep, dark blue gem. Thank you. It was wow. a blue thing. You were right. Yeah, it was a blue thing, isn't it? A deep, dark blue gem. Weird. I was named after Gavaskar, though. The what the Cricketer. heartburn? <laughs> <laughs> you named off uh, the little fireman that goes in, <laughs> in, the, in the adverts with the with the creamy arms. Down your throat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's an organic. Well, I saw that. I had no idea that what yeah. I was curing. I was like, man, I never feel like I need that, man. What was yeah. um? What's he famous? Um, what's he famous for in cricket? Should be an in- Indian c- captain. Good, cr- good at cricket. Yeah, around the time when I started. Good. I st- when I started <laughs> living, started living. <laughs> <laughs> around the time when I started, you know, living, being alone. <laughs> when I started, yeah, yeah. You know, I've been going for a long time yeah, now right, with this you know. living stuff. I've been going for a while. <laughs> Twenty years. How many days have you done? <laughs> days. How many days yeah. have I done? How many days? Absolutely mad, mad you call your 10, kids 000. these days. It should be illegal to name your son Talman, like Salmon with, with an E. What does that mean, though? <laughs> Talman. just means uh, one who is oppressed. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. your one name is One who is oppressed. <laughs> one because your name is Ta- Ta- Where's it from? Talman. Where's Talman from? It's, it's Hebrew. Um, Tahoma. 
That's cool. Like the, like the font. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's just crazy. You can just yeah. do anything. Anything yeah. goes I'm, anything call my, I'm calling my son Snell Roundhand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's only Look, a couple of names Ted, that are banned. Tedmund, isn't it? Tedmund. <laughs> there are some fucking crazy names. Tetonka. That's one there. Tetonka. Absolutely crazy Tetonka. I've actually heard of Tetonka before. Tetonka. Teferi. Is that Teferi underneath? <laughs> to, to, do, to be or not to be. Is that well. Teferi? Um, yeah, Teferi, yeah. That's a Magic the Gathering character. A, fe- a, fer- a ferocious man feared by his enemies. All right, banned baby names you need to be aware of. Oh, brilliant. All right, here we oh, go. Oh, man. Th- look at that Aztec name there. Look What's that? that? Oh, that's that. cool. Say it. That's awesome. It's um, Tayex Hutil. H U I T L. Okay. Hutl. Here's some banned yeah. ones. Hutl, yeah. Hutl. Hutl. Cyanide. 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 That got banned. I was going to call my son Cyanide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Messiah and King. You can't call your son King? No, apparently not. This is in New Zealand. Okay, right. Here we go. Illegal baby names in the UK. According to Mom Junction, these names are banned in the UK. <laughs> Mom Junction. <laughs> Is that with a O or a U? Mom Junction. Uh, oh. So Martian. Smell. Sling me the Martian. Sling me those digestives, please. Martian monkey. That's crazy because I'd love to call my children those two things. You can call a kid monkey. You can absolutely sure you can call, call a kid, a kid monkey. monkey. That's fine. Chow toe. Sorry. Chow toe. That's banned. Means smelly head. Chow to- is that how is that being spelled then? C H O W T O W, two words. <laughs> what? Yeah. Rogue. Right. Rogue is banned. What, like the X Men? Yeah. Yeah. Akuma. That's banned because in Japanese it means devil. Especially a lot if your last name is Matata. <laughs> <laughs> okay, illegal baby names in France now. <laughs> Akuma Matata. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> illegal baby names in France, counting down from the seventh, number seven. Mini Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get it tax right off. <laughs> uh, no VAC on that kid, that's fine. Uh, number six, Prince William. Uh, uh, number five, Demon. Number four, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is my that? son, Demon. <laughs> but that's banned, and so is the word uh, joyo, which means happy. That's mm. banned. Manhattan. M- <laughs> Why Manhattan? Yeah. Manhattan's Patel. <laughs> Manhattan's Patel. No, this one, this one will Man. hurt you. This one is MJ. Wow. That's Whoa. banned. Why not? From Spider-Man. Yeah, Mary Jane. <laughs> uh, Nutella. That's banned. Mm-hmm. In Germany, Matty, Cole, Stompy, Osama Bin Laden... <laughs> <laughs> Someone's tried it too because anyone's not tried be allowed. It. It's Someone's not tried be like, it. Someone's Stop tried it. <laughs> and number five, Adolf Hitler. <laughs> oh God! That must have, I feel like Mr. MJ must have been the same day they banned. Like it must be an admin error where they go like, right, we've got a son Bin Laden, uh, Adolf Hitler, and MJ, and they go, we'll just 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 do them all, ban them all. <laughs> Fucking hell, Australia you know? is. Ridiculous. Yeah, go, on. <laughs> go with There's me. 15 illegal names in Australia. <laughs> That's really <laughs> crazy. Number one is IKEA. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to call myself IKEA. Uh, number two is Ranga. Is that a slur or something? Okay. Oh. Number three is LOL. Ranga, no, Ranga is the slur for ginger people. Oh, is it? Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Number right. three is LOL. Number four is Batman. <laughs> <laughs> number five, Snort. Well, because already. That- <laughs> Snort, Snort well, the reason Davies. You can't call you. The reason you can't call someone Batman because it's someone who exists with that name. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah. Father, these sound like Viz characters. <laughs> yeah. Snort Davies. Snort Hitler, obviously. Snort Davies banned. in his case was Gabies. Hitler Davies. <laughs> spinach Davies. Spinach is banned. You can't call your kid spinach. You can't right. call your kid Christ. Right. Dame. You can't call it Dame. Dame. That's like what it is. Judy Dench. Yeah. Okay. But then there's like. Dame, da- Dame Dash. She's a she's a Dame. Uh, God, talking to the microphone, please. Oh, yeah. God, Satan. Yep. Brother, Sir, Prime Minister, General. They're all banned. General. What about Fiasco? Oh, look at the Swiss Swiss ones. Six six names banned in Switzerland. Yeah. Mercedes, <laughs> Schmidt. Mercedes is a normal name, isn't it? Schmidt. Yeah. That's what, Paris, yeah. Chanel, Judas, Luf- Lucifer. <laughs> 
it goes it takes a turn towards the end this is great illegal baby names in Iceland Mm -hmm. Duncan, Zoe, Enrique, Ludwig, Camilla, Harriet why? (laughs) no Harriet yeah because um, the Icelandic (laughs) alphabet doesn't include the letters C, Q, W or Z so you can't use words Um, do you know about the uh, the Peruvian football player which one Fofan no so he's um, he's 21 Uh, he plays in the uh, in uh, like the, the top division in Peru um, and his, uh, <laughs> he, he plays in the top flight in Peru. And his name is Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> no. But the V is pronounced like a B in Spanish. So his name is <laughs> Osama Bin Laden. And listen to this. His brother's name is Saddam Hussein. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on there? <laughs> the name of, personal life. The name Osama Bin Laden is inspired by Islamic fundamentalist and founder of the terrorist organization <laughs> Al-Qaeda. The V is pronounced B in Spanish. His brother, Saddam Hussein, is named after dictator of Iraq, Saddam Hussein. That's crazy. His father had considered naming his third son George Bush. (laughs) 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 Oh my God. What's he up to? What's the game there? Listen, listen. He always wondered why his parents gave him such a controversial name. I I think I might know why. (laughs) I asked my father for explanations, but he always avoided the subject. (laughs) He, He made the following connection in a radio interview. When Bin Laden destroyed the Twin Towers, his name was on the front pages of newspapers. And a year later, I was born. (laughs) His father liked the name. To avoid criticism, only his first name, Osama, appears on his jersey. (laughs) Yeah, to to make it less controversial. To make it uncontroversial. All right. That's incredible. This is a good one, though. All right, just one more. Top illegal name in Denmark. Oh, oh, sorry. Can I just just say one more thing? (laughs) <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt. No, 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 go on, just no, scroll down. Loads. <laughs> During another interview, a journalist asked him if it was dishonorable, dishonorable to bear the name of someone like Bin Laden. To which he responded, "I do not believe my name is problematic." Citing Peruvian politician Hitler Geslin Alba Sanchez. <laughs> 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 Who won a mayoral first, election? First name Hitler. <laughs> yeah. first name Hitler. Listen, Last listen. name Sanchez. <laughs> listen, the name's listen. Hitler. Hitler Sanchez. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Citing Peruvian politician uh, Hitler Sanchez, who won a mayoral election gosh. over Vladimir Lenin Rodriguez Valdez. No, no. <laughs> What's going on in Peru? <laughs> That's why it's Brazilian footballer Marx Lenin. Fucking oh, hell. brilliant. Marx Bloody Lenin, base no. name, though. That's an awesome name. Number one illegal name in Denmark, Anus. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the well, the translation of Anus or just... Uh, just Anus, just, just the word called, Anus. Right. Just the word Anus, yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah, God, there's a lot of places that are banned stuff, I'll tell you that. Justice. I don't think you should be allowed to ban people. Calling them babies to certain names. I think people should, you know. But if, like, if everyone's like, you know, if, it, well, if like, there'd be like, you know, if there's loads of Hitlers popping about, it's not good, is it? it mm. It's not people. bad. It's bad. It's, no, not it's bad. bad. it's not bad, is it? <laughs> Isn't it? I'll just repurpose the name, you know. You know oh, right. You know, <coughs> you know, reclaim it. Well, like the N word. Yeah. What we're That's <laughs> this podcast is reclaiming, just reclaiming it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only we can say it. <laughs> Um, that's funny. That's really funny. Uh, what a great! That's that's brilliant. That's genius. How long um, we done then? That's about uh, we've done. I'm absolutely thir- exhausted. Thir- thirty-four minutes. Thirty-four. It's minutes. always thirty-four, it's always 34 when I ask. You it's always that? thirty-four. Yeah. Maybe yeah. that's the amount of maybe that's the amount of organic juice we have, and we should keep episodes to thirty-four minutes long. That's no. true. No, <laughs> absolutely right. not. Okay. You got more juice? Huh? Maybe if you go after the juices run out, that's when the good stuff comes out. Well, we what? Almost, you know, like like what? Who's saying that? Is that like an art thing? Yeah, like if you just scrape away enough, something good will come up. Like what about first like thought, that. best thought? Uh, is that is that a thing? Yeah, that was a beat first thing, was wasn't best it? Thought. First thought, best thought. That was a beat part thing. Doesn't work it? for comedy though, does it? And um, sometimes it does. Sometimes it does actually. Yeah. It's instinctive. It's yeah, a, yeah, yeah instinctive thing is the funniest. Yeah, but sometimes you no, know, not everyone's instincts are great. You know, my no. instincts aren't great. I have to be quite thought through. Well, you I don't, think my yeah. instincts are evil. Mm. Do you, know you don't know I mean? if your instincts are instincts or reactions. Rarely. Every time I go for my instincts when I'm talking on stage to someone, it's pretty bad. Mm. I, yeah. I was in the, I was in the, I was doing a preview last night, and I remember the last time I was in that room, I thought I'd, I'd split up a couple. The previous time I did a gig there. 
you, that's what you're thinking. That was my instincts. I just work on my instincts and I just split them up. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> was it entertaining? Um, no, it was very tense. Oh, right. Yeah. I asked her, I asked his girlfriend a question and he answered for her. There were a couple I was talking to and I yeah. said she can answer for herself. And he said... Shout out women, man. <laughs> shout, shout out women, women. Yeah, shout out women. <coughs> no, but genuinely, it was like really jarring that he answered for her. Yeah, I was like, yeah, no, yeah, I'm asking her. I, I'm going to... Because the big part of it was that I asked them two diff- the same thing. Yeah. And then um, he was like, well, I I, um, I feel like I can answer for her. And I said, well, that's... I said, does he do this a lot? She said, mm. yeah, quite a lot. And I was like, that's pretty bad, isn't it? She went, yeah. And I was like, do you reckon um, you'll stay with him much longer? <laughs> she didn't say anything. <laughs> and I was like, she didn't say anything. That's crazy. Yeah. And then he was like... To no laughs? Yeah. Oh, God. And then, and then he was like... Um, he was like, I wish you were, he's like, he goes, why don't you do a funny joke? And I said, I can't remember what I said, but I think I just, I just addressed it head on. I was like, it's because you're quite a horrible person. And right, it's difficult, okay, to be, yeah. difficult to make jokes about you. Cause yeah, you're, yeah. Mm. you're quite a sinister character. Yeah. And then I said, you, yeah, do you reckon you'll be dumped after this? And he didn't say anything. And I just went back to my, and, all right, and then I went, right, let's get into this Nando's routine. <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe it's best not to follow your instincts. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, my instincts are, uh, are in the toilet. But I think one, you know, there's something to be said for being on stage. And, um, uh, and like. What's wrong with your instincts? Your instincts are fine. No, but what I mean. Your instincts are good. I've seen, you, I've seen you on stage. As soon as I go off script, it's terrible. I love going off script, but I think it's because it's I kind of too, a fight or flight, you know, yeah. your brain goes, you got brain goes into overdrive thinking, what well, is he not constantly thinking this, but you're like, something funny has to come out ASAP. So your brain goes into overdrive comedy mode, which is great. Yeah, but I can't, my, my brain's never gone into overdrive. I can't think very fast. My brain only goes into overdrive on stage. I can't, that's why I need so many previews because I, I find it impossible <laughs> to sit down and write. But what I can do is come up with an interesting idea and go and talk about it on stage mm. to, to people who've got free tickets or whatever and just speak until something funny comes yeah. out. But when, when you're writing, don't you just pretend you're on stage? Mm, sometimes, but it's not really um, the same. Yeah. So you, know, you read your stuff off a piece of paper, don't you? Not anymore, man. It's all off the dome now. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get a piece of paper out anymore? I don't do paper anymore. I don't do, note. I don't do cards. Oh, uh, that's crazy. I do just pure... Stand, what just stand, up. Stilled, stand up. Yeah, yeah stand, up now. stand up. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're doing work in progress, isn't it, aren't you? No, I'm going to come up and see. I might okay. do some spots and just, but um, I don't know what I'll do. Do you reckon really? you could find anything up there that's close to Comedy Cabin? Fuck, my favourite gig, man. I can't believe they shut it down. Yeah. Was it shut down there? Well, the Tuesday gigs that I did, Comedy Sack. They still run the gigs, but the Tuesday <laughs> ones that I did, Comedy Sack, that's gone now. I mean, why is Comedy Sack gone? But they can be asked to run it or promote it. All right, yeah, Comedy enough. Sack. Yeah, which is what the joy of it was for me. Yeah. Um, but now I need to find a regular... A regular one. Why don't, we draw, why don't we start a gig? That's such a hassle. I know. But um, you can make money. If we just do a monthly one. Maybe. And the Slimers will come to it. we do an episode there as well. Mm. We can just do one-off ones, can't we? Why don't we just make every episode live? No, I've done that before. It's a real hassle. Oh, with wow. Nick. With Nick, our, our episode was... Those our, are fucking funny shows, though. They're funny yeah. shows, but it's just like an... It's so shout out, much... Shout out, Nick Hellman. Shout out, Nick. So much organising. Yeah. And with yeah. The, it's just like... And and also, you got to, you have to keep the, get the crowd going before the podcast as well, because you can't just come in on a nothing. I don't yeah. know. I yeah, felt like okay. it was, like, tricky. Yeah. And and also, you can't... With this one, we, you you can't overrun. So what... It's like, what go what you say goes in. Yeah. You can't really yeah, edit yeah, around yeah. it, because you've only got the space around an hour. Yeah, fair enough. So it can be difficult. Um, but live podcasts are fun. Yeah, yeah we well, had fun at our yeah. one. Yeah, we did. Quick question for you guys. I get quite... I feel that's the only time I feel pressure on stage is when oh, I'm, yeah. like, talking with a thing. I did a panel show recently. I did Werewolf. Yeah. Yeah. And I found it quite... Stressful. Um, stressful to be on stage. Mm. Talk Because it's just... Um, Unprepared. Well, it's also you're talking to your friends in a way that you would never really talk to them. Yes, mm. I don't as well, like that. It's quite strange. Yeah, it's unpleasant. Yeah, yeah. you stop yourself from saying... You know, secrets and yeah, gossip. Secrets yeah, secrets are sure. Yeah, get get getting to use Chloe Pat's actual name. Well, her, well, I call her Adolf Pets, which is her real name. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she's been banned from Australia. <laughs> 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 I had to keep remembering. It's Chloe Pets. It's Chloe Pets. 
It's not Rob. It's Rob Orton. Demon it's Orton. It's not Demon Orton. Demon Orton. Yeah. <laughs> Demon Orton. <laughs> it's not Ray Badran. It's, it's Hitler Badran. Anus, anus, anus Badran. Anus, 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 Badran. anus, anus Hitler Badran. <laughs> <laughs> um, man. Oh. Yeah, I find it. I quite like doing stuff on stage that's completely unstructured. But if I'm the, like, when people invite me on, I'll do like questing time and like improv panel shows like that I don't mind but as long as I'm not the one that has to it's drive any of it you know it's not the reason we got into this is it no I want to be on stage on my own everyone's paid a million pound for a ticket but they also don't mind if it's bad yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what Perfect. I want <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. the trick they enjoy it more if it's bad yeah, yeah. 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 that's yeah. the first thing I, the first thing I said on stage last night was free ticket bad show we all understand yeah. <laughs> We all understand. <laughs> yeah. Free ticket, bad show. Free tickets, was it? Free tickets. But book in advance. Um, yeah, book in advance. Yeah. But it was, um, it was like uh, you, had not, you had a nice bucket at the end, though, didn't you? Didn't have a bucket, but because I decided, I decided on uh, the day, uh, I decided over the weekend. That I went up to the top of um, to, of my local park, my favorite place in the world, and found myself profoundly upset by the whole experience. Like I was almost in tears. Of the seeing, park or the preview? The the park. And I found myself almost in tears looking at like a big pile of logs. And then I thought I need a pre- I was trying to write at the top of the comment and I thought I need a preview. So I just put a thing up on my story saying I want to do a preview in the next two days. Who's got a venue? And Jacob shouted. Jacob messaged me and was like, do it at my bar. And so then I said, free tickets with a bucket. And he said, yeah. Yeah. And then put that on my Instagram story, and so everyone said, um, yeah. "Where's the bar in Tottenham?" Tottenham. Yeah, it's just near near Tottenham, like five ten minute walk from Tottenham. So yeah. hell, um, might do another one. I said, "Me and you should do a double there." Yeah, we should actually. Yeah, um, I don't know how you do the. Um, I don't know if they'd be able to sort. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I uh, don't know if they'd be able to sort you out the DI box or something, or if you just have to use your computer speakers, uh, your keyboard speakers. Maybe, don't know. We'll figure it out. I have a quick question for you guys. That's yeah. Right. Um, you know when you have um, um, uh, a heart attack mm. and yeah. you get shooting pains in your arm? Left, yeah. Is it your left arm? Yeah. Okay, that's when my... When don't I worry said, about that's it. That's a stroke as well, isn't it? Don't worry about it. When my left arm... I have some shooting pains when in my right arm. Oh, okay. <laughs> right arm's fine. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Well, I had shooting pains. I remember I told you my my complete left arm completely got cut off the other day. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Numb? Yeah, it just really sort of numb and I couldn't move it. Yeah, it's heart attack or stroke. Yeah. I think heart attacks are going to start happening much younger. Because of COVID vaccine? No, just everything. Anxiety, stress, pl- microplastics. Vape plus cigarette, vape. Vape. living moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah 40 yeah. cigarettes a day and vape and coffee. Yeah. I know someone. I went to school with someone who had a heart attack at like 19. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I mean, the thing is, back in the day, they could have handled it, but nowadays, we're fucking pussies. Yeah, we're soft. Well, Too our immune soft. system can't even handle a train journey or a sandwich. Or COVID. No, yeah. Or COVID and that. COVID, yeah. Pete's got too many sweet corn in it, I can't handle it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I have to pick him out. I can't handle pollen. Just just managed to solve that problem this late in life. What, you mean you just figured out it was pollen that was killing you? <laughs> no, I found, I found a antihistamine that worked. Shout what? out, Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Olivia, seven ninety nine for a packet of thirty. That'll absolutely sort you. Yeah, it's a man, that's good. Fucking Puritan is, is so expensive. Is that what you're using? Yeah. Oh, it's try so Olivia. Try yeah. Olivia. It's something in. I can't have loratadine though, or something. It's a new one, oh. Phenaxadrine or something. Phenaxadrine. Like it's over the counter, but you can get a lower one uh, just off the off the shelf. Awesome. Yeah. Olivia. It's good. It's sorted. It. I took it. Within about two minutes, I'd stopped crying. Wow, that's brilliant. It's really good. Did you see Ronaldo crying last night? Why did, what did he do? Fucking loser. Oh, did he lose? Mr. Penalty. No, they won on penalties in the end, but he oh, missed but he a penalty. Missed me. Um, this is one job. I, I'm a so simple man. All I, wanted, all I want is to see Ronaldo cry. Yeah. I love seeing Ronaldo cry. I was watching the England game. Yeah. And uh, thinking, this is all over. And yeah. I, you know, I'm on a, you're on a slight delay if you're watching it on streaming. Mm-hmm. Helen walks in from the garden saying, I think something's about to happen. I was like, what? Turned around, they just scored a goal. Yeah, but Helen might have been looking at the tarot. No, she heard the screams from the pub. She, I think tarot, t- yeah. Tarot, yeah. yeah. Tarot. tarot, pulled the tarot card out. Mm-hmm. Every time I do a tarot, it's like, <coughs> I have several friends that love tarot. How often? And then, like, you know, Sinead from, from yeah, the artist, yeah, Shout, Shout Sinead. Sinead. Um, whenever I go to hers, she'll yeah. always give me a tarot. And I just think, like, 
every time I do it, every, they always say the same thing. They're like, it's, it can't go wrong. Like, there's always like mm-hmm. a way around this. Like, you can't get a bad card. Yeah. There's this, there's there's an interpretation <laughs> it's of this. All death, death joke. Yeah, but every time, and then I do it, and I go fine. And yeah. then they every time they put out the cards, there's like the like, they just look at the cards for like five minutes and like. Oh fuck! <laughs> like, yeah, like there's no other way to interpret this otherwise, other than you'll be dead. I what? did this recently with a girl I was si- si- seeing a few months ago. She, yeah, she, she, she brought me around. She's like, "Let's do tarot. It'd be fun." And I was yeah. like, "No, because you, you can't do this because it happens every time." And then she does it, and then she looks down at the cards. She looks at them for like what two minutes, and she looks up and goes, "I think at best you will be betrayed three times." <laughs> 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 at best <laughs> well if we do it once each me and Ed yeah. then there's only one left I no well she I think she she was she betrayed me oh, oh so, so we got so we so more, we, two more to so go so now we both have yeah. to betray you right? yeah. Yeah. turn around um, turn around no, no, I've got. I can't think of anything. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just throw that back in digestive suit. <laughs> Pour behave. the water all over the recorder. <laughs> <laughs> That's your recorder. That would be, yeah. that would be a, a, a betrayal for Ed as well. I feel. I, yeah, I paid for a palm reading on Fiverr. Yeah. And um, <laughs> wait, what do you? I wouldn't even a palm reading on Fiverr. You send the picture over. You send a picture of your hand and no, fuck off. With a little essay. That's crazy. Yeah, and he said um, you're going to get a bad leg one day. <laughs> And then you'll never guess what. It's your bad leg in the background of the photo. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've yeah. had a bad leg before. And then I had to get a varicose vein operation. <coughs> Didn't I? Lasers and that. Yeah. yeah. I um, Every time they do tarot <laughs> on me, they're like, oh, like you say, it's all, there's never a bad card. You know, death doesn't necessarily mean death. Yeah. You know, it could be a new start. And then someone dies. And you're like, well, they did mean death. Mm. <laughs> so. so is it true? We're saying we're into tarot now. I love that. I, I mean, I don't, I don't. I think it's obviously like. I don't think it's um, steady on now. Some of the slimers could be into it. Come on, please. I'm, I'm very interested in like that, the, that sort of mystic stuff. I think it's cool, but I don't believe in it. Yeah, okay. a bit dove. That's we should go to that occult shop. But I think that's London. the same with a lot of people. A lot of people don't believe in it, but they use it as like guided therapy or guided meditation or whatever. You know. Yeah, I don't believe in it at all, but I think the pictures are cool. And it's I like think I don't believe mystic, in Pokemon, but I follow the start. I, I follow Ash Ketchum's journey with great interest. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe we should have a section on this called um, Crusty Dogs, yeah. <laughs> but it's, mm-hmm. it is Crusty Dogs. But we we do we do um, we answer a fan question. Oh yeah, we solve someone's problem. I just okay. don't want to hear their problems because I think that'll be bonkers. well. The problems that we can answer for it'd be just like <laughs> I've had fourteen pot of noodles this week. I don't know how to get myself. I'm a, I can't. I can't start boiling the kettle. Don't oh, know how to get a big toilet? Also, how, is there a way? To, is, there, is there a way we can put the noodles in the kettle to make the <laughs> to make the process quicker? Listen, this is um, something really important that I've just found out, and thank you for bringing up trusty hogs because you've made me remember. But apparently, did you know this? We're going to talk to them. <laughs> no, for other podcasts, and I think this happened with Trusty Hogs. Other podcasts, the fans get the hosts presents and stuff. Yeah, they no, do. we get presents too, though. Don't we? Did we you get, know that? We get, we, we get brilliant presents. We've had some artwork, and I got given a Pokemon card last night, which is yeah. very cool. But what but I'm the talking reason... about is the chili Uncle Roger's chili crab noodles. No, but the reason they get presents is because they have a PO box address they, that you can send something. We could to. just do it to your house. We're not doing we do that. It to the, We're not fucking We do it to the trusty hog. <laughs> we do it to the trusty hog's PR box, can't we? They've shut it down now because they got too many presents. Right. Imagine so, getting too many presents. Why don't we presents. get some presents then? How do you get a PR box? You you pay for one, don't you? How much is it? I don't know. Should we Google it? Yeah. Yeah, but well, we can't have another you cost guys, on you guys. Service. You guys, if we buy a PR box, will you promise to send us a present? Uh, I think we the, the the podcast should be. We go. We have to. It's the hour before we approach the PO box and open the stuff in the PO box. <laughs> Need a UK mailbox address. Attack. Here we go. If you, uh, Royal Mail PO box. Maybe we service. should do something with the Patreons. Would you like? Would you like us to do a PO box so you could send us things? I don't know. Yeah. Would you like give? Us, would you like buy and sell goods on? PO what box do we deliver. even like? What, they'll just. I mean, they'll send us vapes, which is sick, obviously. Monthly. That's all we have an interest <laughs> in. That's the only thing we want, though, isn't it? <laughs> it's 40, uh, 40 pounds a month. Is it? For a PO box. But imagine how many vapes you could fit in that. Yeah, yeah. It would be great if we didn't have to buy our own cigarettes and vapes. Yeah. I yeah. looked at, I looked at Trusty Hog's um, Patreon tiers. Mm-hmm. It's insane, some of them. Some of them are like 50 quid. And there are people doing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big time. We've only got one Patreon tier. 
four pound a month. Yeah, and it's, it's a foot one gone now. Good value. Yeah, foot one's foot gone. One's gone, is it? Yeah. yeah. So we're no longer legally obligated. I think to we show should. Do, I think we feet. should do one extra tier, which is the same price as a Lamborghini, and we buy a Lamborghini if we get that. If one person pays for it for one month. Yeah, then they. But then we just get a Lamborghini. Oh, okay. At least one. No, 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 buy pay, one. no, buy, buy one. one. Yeah, buy one. Buy one. Re- the recommended retail price. Right. How, how much is one though? Like hundred grand. Uh, Second hand, maybe a bit more. Because see, if someone gave us a hundred grand, I wouldn't want to buy a Lamborghini. What, what are you talking about? You but you, that's not what, how Patreon works. I'm the only one here that doesn't drive, so it'd be useless. What would you do with your share of hundred grand? Buy loads of nice stuff. Like what? What do you want? Buy you got everything you need. Chili crab noodle. Chili crab noodles for sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Buy one of those. Probably buy um, a house. For thirty grand, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, oh dear, yeah, yeah. yeah. Buy a house. Um, I buy. Need to stop the podcast now to tell us some bad news. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rent a house. Um, I yeah, buy yeah, yeah. probably a nice. You present should buy. For my girlfriend. I'll tell you what you should buy. You save should it. buy a nice patch of land. I'd save it. Have you seen that? Did I ever send you that video of the guy who tells you how to claim unclaimed land? Yeah, what is it? You have to put a rope around it. For eleven it for years, 10 years. Eleven yeah. years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the you problem. You have to do what? Sorry, <laughs> you put a rope around it and say, "This is my land." Put your phone number on it, and then if no one claims it within eleven years, it's yours. So the best way to find that land is to find land that's not been claimed but in an inheritance, take, and t- no one can claim it. Couldn't someone just take the number off and put their number on? Yeah, but you go back and do it again. <laughs> so it's just, no, because that's it, 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 criminal damage. Doesn't, doesn't the eleven years restart if you do that? Oh fuck! So well, you got to sit on it. So you have to just stay there. You have to stay yeah. there and there. Yeah. yeah. Or hire it's worth doing. Yeah. Right. It's worth doing. We could do a lot. If we sit there, we'd get a lot of podcasts done, wouldn't we? Yeah. Waiting. Yeah. Yeah, in little, little field. We'd have to leave to upload them. No. Get a Unless you want to hotspot me for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon? Yeah, do you reckon my power bank will last that long? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. The, the anchor one from Glastonbury, absolutely. Now, listen, guys, if you want us to, to buy land or if you want us to get presents, go to patreon.com for slime country. There are many things on there. There are old episodes. There's bloody 50 of them. There's bonus episodes every thing. Every single other week. And weekly soon. And you can do you can you can do things. You can vote on polls for things for us to do. I haven't done a poll for ages, but we should do one. We should do a poll, and you can do that as well. And then we'll do live shows. Whenever we do live shows, they go up on there, and you get the tickets first. So do that one. And we think four pounds is a nice price. That's yeah. what that's that's one pound per little episode. You we could buy nice if price. you're thinking of buying a PO box for forty pounds a month. How about you buy ten subscriptions to Slam Country Bloody Patreon hell. for forty pounds a month? Yeah. Um, just one more thing. If, oh, yeah. any, if anyone listening is an heiress, oh, yeah. uh, get in touch. Uh, got to marry one. For oh, yeah. So no one has to marry an heiress. And Neil is a fertile man, despite so his age. I'm mm. meeting a... <laughs> I'm going to be fertile till I die, man. Till I'm 80 or something. Mm. Um, I'm meeting top matchmaker in Chelsea tomorrow. See how that goes. Wow. Oh, good luck. Really good exciting. Luck. Everyone things. say good luck to Neil. Good luck to Neil. Good luck to Neil. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Oh, and buy tickets to our Edinburgh shows. Yes, please. Yeah.